Right, I have to be quiet. I've got permission from Peter to shoot any cock pheasants if I see them. And just as I was packing up, one has just passed in front. Let's see if I can find it. It's just passed in front of the bike. I think he's just sat down behind some trees. I'm going to see if I can get it. I've got the air rifle. Male pheasants are known as roosters or cocks, and the females are called hens. Cocks can have a harem of up to seven hens. They do not migrate, and they can fly at speeds of up to 48 miles per hour. Pheasants can also run at speeds of up to 8 to 10 miles per hour. Pheasants can survive up to three years in the wild, but a game bird released, if survived the shoot, may only live a year. Yes, definitely, definitely not moving. Straight through the head. There we go. One less cock present. It's a beautiful bird, great feathers, and that will be my dinner tonight. I don't know if you can see, but at the gate at the end of the field there are two more cock pheasants. I think they've just seen me. Well that one has. He's off. Wise move. Here's the other one gone. There he goes. Well, I decided to hang the pheasant for only a few days before cooking it for a Sunday roast with the family. Some people prefer hanging the pheasant for over 10 days, which intensifies the gamey flavour and receives the name High Game. I've decided to roast the pheasant and follow a Mary Berry recipe, which calls for the skin to be left on, which means I have the lengthy task of plucking the feathers and try not to tear the thin skin covering the meat. Well, there's still some skin left on, so, so far so good. Now the easy bit of removing the head and neck. Both the wings and the legs. Try to pull the tendons out with the legs. 
and of course it's out with the innards. But it does help if you have a sharp knife. A small cut and it's an easy job to grab all the innards in one handful. Pull and it should all come out in one go. Don't forget to empty the crop, which is an expandable muscular pouch near the gullet or throat. It's used to store excess food to be eaten later. A final wash and pluck any of the little feathers you can see. To roast the pheasant was simple. Spread with butter and seasoning. Lay rashers of streaky bacon crosswise. Preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius and cook for an hour, basting just once. Served with your choice of vegetables, and there you have it, a family Sunday roast of pheasant. Very tasty indeed.